This video is about proportion. Small things, big things. Drawing a huge building, consider the scale, what detail to include and what gets lost. Also, if you're drawing something tiny, can you include detail that's normally overlooked? If you're drawing an eye, think about the scale. How much detail is there if it's smaller than real life, if it's life size, or if it's larger than real life? A regular piece of paper has different relationship between width and height, whereas a square has equal relationship, equal proportion. Right, let's take this three-dimensional. Can you see how the tape is roughly two-thirds up the vertical of the shipping container? That's eye level again, roughly. So we know that one-third is above eye level, but two-thirds of the shipping container is below eye level. Next, let's look at horizontal proportion. As we move around the shipping container, so the relationship changes between the longer side and the shorter entrance. Depending on where we're standing, sometimes both sides appear to be equal width. And then things that we think we know to be true are contradicted. Look what's happened to the long side. Lastly, the size. That's just a measurement. But with your drawing and painting, never make assumptions. Always question what you're looking at. Thanks for watching Extraordinary Made Ordinary. If you like the channel, then please click here. If you want to see another video about painting and drawing, then please click here. I didn't think there was much point in showing off my painting or drawing skills. There's plenty of videos on YouTube showing you how to draw a perfect face, a perfect eye, a perfect glass, whatever it is. What I want to do here is to take things apart, simplify what you're looking at, and to make the extraordinary a little bit more ordinary and a little bit more easy to understand. So hopefully it will help your drawing skills and it will make your paintings and drawings a lot better. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.